everyone happy holidays and welcome back to cute claws with kelly today i am doing a christmas mani for you and i wanted to start by showing you all this home for the holidays mini dips collection from sparkle and co uh, this was something that i ordered um, just because i really needed to expand my christmas dips and have some more variety of colors so this comes with six mini dips, which I am in the process of unpackaging. And they really are so sweet. Their, their packaging is just amazing. I love the little stickers they give here. They wrote me a very personalized note, which is super awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the collection of the six mini dips. Um, this collection does not come with swatch sticks. So I did have to do my own. I did those off camera, but I'll, I'll show you what the swatches look like. And it came with Gingerbread Manny, <laughs> cute, Festival of Lights, Merry Everything, The Grinch Stole 2020, Dear Santa, Pink Hot Cocoa. And then they gave me as a thank you, which is the little black bag, they gave me an extra one, which was called Mistletoe Fierce. So um, I'm going to get these all swatched out for you all so you can see what they look like on the swatch sticks. But I, I just love Sparkle & Co. I love um, their dips. I think they're really great quality. Um, normally they give you the dip, dip uh, swatch sticks, but you know in this case it wasn't a big deal for me to just do them really quick on my own. And all of these colors are sparkle. So um, if you're not into sparkle, this probably would not be a collection for you to purchase, but um, it worked out really well for me because I already had kind of the flat basic Christmas colors um, with other dips that I had. So the sparkles just, you know, all of those fit right in nicely with what I already had. So here is that thank you that they gave me. And basically the little card there just says that, you know, this was, they're trying to move some of their older stuff out and make room for newer stuff. So they just wanted to thank me by giving me this extra dip. So super appreciative of that. Um, Sparkle & Co, I've been doing their sub bags since October and I've really enjoyed getting their sub bags as well. And um, I'm looking forward to the one that I should receive here soon um, as it's towards the end of December. I'm expecting that that will be one that would be good for New Year's Eve, so we'll see. And then here I'm just showing you the dip liquids and the top coat that I'm gonna be using for my swatch sticks. So um, here is the first one, it's Gingerbread Manny. And it's like a gold glitter with some flakes of white and red in it. So super cute there. And then the next one is called Festival of Lights and it's like this brilliant blue and super shimmery. I really like this one too. Next we have Merry Everything. And this is like a base of like silver with like red and green sparkles in it very nice then we have the Grinch stole 2020 which is just a green of course with different sized glitter pieces in it different shades of green then we're moving on to dear Santa which as you can guess was the red one some different size sparkles in this one too Then we've got Pink Hot Cocoa. And this is like a light pink base with some, um, you know, iridescent and white sparkles and, you know, a variety of sizes. And then finally, the Mistletoe Fierce, which was my bonus one or my thank you gift. And this is like a green sparkle with some larger red glitter pieces in it. This is the one I actually chose to go with on the Manny that I'm doing today. So getting right into it, I um, prepped my nails off camera. I just kind of buzzed down um, my old Manny and I um, then decided to build up my nail with two layers of cream of the crop by Kira Sky because it's like a really nice nude color. And I like to have a base on my nails first before I add color. 
um, because it builds up the nail. And then also I'm a fan of just buzzing off the color with my e-file. And then, um, you know, getting down to like my bait, whatever my base color is, whether it's clear or natural, or in this case, the cream of the crop. And then I go ahead and I do another mani just dipping over that. So it's kind of like an infill, if you will. So I'm doing two nails, which is my middle fingernail and my thumbnail in the white. And I'm gonna be doing some cute Christmas stamps over those nails. My pointer and my pinky I'm doing in red. And both the white and the red are colors that I have from Rossi. And then my accent nail, well, one of my accent nails I'll say, is my ring finger and that's gonna be the mistletoe fierce. So that's where the green is gonna come in. So I'm doing, I already have two, I have my old dip on my nails, uh, filed down super thin. Then I have two dips of the Kira Sky um, Cream of the Crop. Then I have two dips of the color or the um, sparkle. And then I encapsulate everything in clear and then I activate. So I have like five, five layers of dip, um, which for me is not too thick at all, but you know, it's totally a preference thing. And then um, when you see me get to the part where I activate, like I super activate, like I get a lot of activator on there multiple times because I wanna make sure that it penetrates all those five layers of dip. Um, and again, I didn't have a problem doing that. I, I let my nails dry with the activator and then I get into my filing and I, I didn't have any issues. So um, while you guys are watching me get this dip on, I just wanted to first let you know where I've been and what I've been up to. So this, um, I guess my last upload was for a Thanksgiving Manny that you saw where I was unveiling the November um, Sparkle & Co. sub bag. And I have not done my nails since then. So I know you guys haven't been seeing videos from me weekly. I do apologize for that, but this time of year has just been very busy for me. I've been super, super busy at work, uh, working long days from home and um, long hours and even weekends. And I just, I did not have it in me to do um, manicures and, you know, film and get videos posted. And then also just because it's Christmas time, you know, I'm like doing a lot of Christmas shopping online and then wrapping and this year also because um, I my new quarantine hobby that I discovered is crochet and so I've been making a lot of Christmas presents for my family members so I needed to use the time I would normally use for doing nails for working on my crochet project so that's where I've been I'm again I'm sorry I haven't been posting as often um, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel thank you so much for hanging in there with me and I hope you understand um, I just I don't want this to be something that feels like work <laughs> in this whole like YouTube thing I started it just because I thought it would be fun for me and it, it, I still want it to be fun for me. And while like getting a lot of subscribers is great and awesome, it's not really the whole reason why I'm here doing this. Um, it's just my one of my creative outlets. And I figure that if you know what I'm doing, I can share with you all and you all can learn something from it, then you know I'm, I'm all for it. I'll, I'll show up and I'll be here and I'll share what I have to offer, but the moment that I start getting stressed out about, oh my gosh, it's whatever day and I haven't filmed a video and I still have to edit it and post it, like at that point it does start to feel like work and I just, I don't want it to be another thing that I have to do. So I kind of just made peace with it a few weeks ago and I would just decided it's okay that I haven't posted in a while because I've been busy. And those of you that want to hang out and, you know, continue to be supportive of me, then, you know, I love you all. Thank you so much. Um, you know, just stick with me when I can get to it. I will post a video. You can just, you know, be sure of that. Um, it just, it might not be as regular as I was doing before. So I just wanted to let y'all know about that. 
Um, this is the point of the video here where I actually, my video got cut off. So I film everything on my iPhone and I think I got a call that came in at that moment. <laughs> and then it like totally jacked up my, my filming and I thought I had restarted it, but I did not. So I'm so sorry you didn't see me, um, you know, finish putting the red on and you didn't see me put on that wonderful glitter, um, the Mistletoe Fierce from Sparkling Co. But the dip process is of course the same as you saw me do with the white nails. And then, um, you know, two dips, uh, brush off excess in between, cap and clear. I do use a, a different uh, dip base for my glitters because, you know, glitter pieces contaminate things. And then I do use a different um, clear cap, a clear powder for my glitters, again, because glitter gets into everything. So um, that's all you missed there. Here, I just, I normally leave out the filing in my videos, and so I wanted to, you know, give you guys a little bit of my filing routine. Um, so this is the current routine that I'm doing. I actually go in with my e-file first, go around my cuticle, then I make sure to go over the whole nail um, with the e-file. I, I look at my nail from multiple angles, different directions, um, just so that I can make sure that I'm filing it you know where it it needs it and shaping it perfectly and then you'll see that I'm gonna go in with my hand file so um, I think I just show you two nails my thumb my white thumb and my red um, pointer finger um, what you see underneath me as I'm working is a dust collector from McCart um, I love it so much it keeps the dust sucked into the collector instead of going all over my office space and in, in my little room where I have a nail corner and um, you know it keeps it out of my face and you know so it's great I, I tend to turn it up to the highest setting it is kind of noisy but it really does a fabulous job of just sucking all that dust in so that's what you see going on there um, the file the e-file that I can am continuing to use is the little light portable one that I had gotten from Amazon it'll be everything I'm using today will be listed down in the description box for you but I this one I really like it but the way that the wheel of the control is it doesn't you don't really know like how many rpms it's going <laughs> Um, so when I'm doing this work here, this file work, I just have it turned all the way to low because I'm not trying to like file my nail too, too much. I just am trying to get a very light, fine filing going just to even out the nail, but I'm not really looking to take off a whole lot of product. And then this is one of the diamond bits that pretty much comes with any e-file that you buy it's like a little red package of I don't know like five or six nails and so you know you just go slow with it let it let it do the work for you and then i um, again I'm just gonna go in with my hand file so I will pause here and I will talk a little bit more once I get the hand file out So here is the hand file that I'm currently using. It's from McCart and I got a bunch of them off of Amazon. It's a 100-180. So it has a coarser side and a finer side. So I use both sides. It just kind of depends on how much shaping I need to do. So if I find that I need to kind of take off a lot of, you know, say an edge on the sidewall kind of to get my coffin shape, then I will tend to use the coarser side of the file um, just to make it a little easier. It'll, it'll take off more product and take less time to get the shape that I'm looking for. And then I always go in at the end with the, the more fine side of the file to um, you know just get that finer, cleaner um, edge. 
Um, and then because this nail file has a rounded edge and a straight edge, I tend to use the straight edge when I'm filing my sidewalls, trying to get my coffin shape as well as the free edge of the nail. And then I use the rounded side to kind of come up around my cuticle and then go over the top of my nail um, side to side and up and down just to further refine the curvature of the nail to get that perfect apex. And I just kind of do that until I feel like I've achieved the look that I want. And then I turn my, my nail over and I just use the tip of the file a little bit to kind of file, you know, what would be like my, my true natural nail underneath there. And um, I don't know if you guys get this too, but after you've filed, you have like a little bit of buildup that's hanging on underneath your nail. So I just kind of use the edge of my, or the tip of my nail file to kind of like, you know, brush that off and to get that to detach from the underside of my nail um, and clean it up further. So, um, you know, it, you don't have to use an e-file. You don't have to use a hand file. Um, most people that do nails regularly, I would say, do use both. Um, but you can certainly achieve the look that you want with just a hand file if you don't want to purchase an e-file. Um, and then, you know, e-files are a little bit scary because you can hurt yourself. If you go too fast, you can create burn rings, um, you know, it, where it starts to feel if you're, if you're doing it too fast and you're not working your drill and move constantly keeping it moving and you have it in one space, you're going to feel that it starts to get warm. And then if you are using it on your natural nail, which you have to be really careful if you're going to choose to do that, you have to use the right bit and you have to go very slow speed and you don't want to file too much of your natural nail off. But if you are using like a sanding band to prep your nail so that the product will adhere to your rough nail, you just have to be careful because you don't want to create any burn rings. Um, I am guilty of <laughs> making mistakes <laughs> and hurting myself because then depending on the bit you're using, if it doesn't have a rounded safety edge, it can cut you. Um, if you over file too close to your cuticle, you're going to eventually break the skin of your cuticle because it's thin skin anyway and you're going to make yourself bleed. So. It, you do need to be careful. It is um, definitely a skill that you have to master. Um, and a lot of people just feel uncomfortable um, in general with the e-file because they don't trust themselves with it. They don't know how to use it. So it's fine if you don't go that way. Um, but you know, practice makes perfect. Um, so for me, I, I like to use it because it does make the filing go a little bit faster. And I've been using one for a good couple, three years now. So. I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, I do have to go a little slower on my dominant hand when I'm using my non-dominant hand, but I still get the job done. So I didn't want to bore you all with the stamping. You guys have seen me stamp like a million times. So here is one of my hands that I have done. Um, I'm using a plate that I got from the name of the company is totally escaping me right now. It's a Mexican company based out of Mexico. Mundo de Unas, I think is what it's called. It'll be down in the description box if I'm messing that up. But that's where I, it's like a spiral plate. I think it's called Spiral 2. And that's where I got like this little perfect like, like peppermint swirl thing going on. And I love that because I was thinking of can like a traditional candy cane, like a striped. And then I saw I had this plate and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the peppermint swirl instead. And that came out really, really cute. Um, my nail was a little bit long for the stamp. And so I did have to go in with a little bit of a dotting tool, like a very small dotting tool to kind of fill in some of the red on the edges just to make it look complete, but it worked out perfectly. And then I did a little bit of a Christmas tree design on my, um, on my thumb and that is a born pretty plate that I that I got from Amazon and the born pretty stamping polish the the sparkly green and the red I showed you and then here I'm just showing you that what I do for my nails after I file them is I do clean them up um, with some alcohol to de-dust them then I put down some of that Mia Secret 
um, dehydrator, then Mia Secret Primer, then the gel top coat, then I stamp, and then I do another gel top coat. And on my little Christmas tree, you see here, I put even a little bit of a gem, like I had these star, these gold star gems as part of a package that I got also from Amazon. And so that was perfect. Um, so that is what I've got going on here. And I was gonna stamp the two red nails too, but then I just loved how the red looked so much that I didn't wanna cover it up with anything. So it, you know, it's a little bit more simple of a Manny, not quite as much going on, but I think that it works out perfectly. So I was just finishing up getting my stamping on, on my uh, dominant hand here on my right hand. And uh, here I'm just doing some cleanup on my, on that little peppermint swirl that I did because I laid the stamp down and then I let that dry and then I encapsulated it with a layer of the glossy gel top coat and then I cured it and then now I'm just taking some acetone and getting the re remnants of the red stamp um, off my skin and then because I had already top coated my nail and baked it in the oven it's it's completely protected so as always, going to finish off my mani with some of my candy skincare um, cuticle oil, which I love. I have not purchased anything from her holiday collection or Christmas collection or whatever, but I had purchased her fall trio. So I'm using a uh, nutty chai, which is sort of Christmassy. Why not? So <laughs> that's what I'm putting on here. And I'm just making sure that I massage it really well into my cuticles and even the underside of my nail. Um, cause all of that tends to get very dry. So this is it. This is my finished Manny. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I had a nice time making it and I just, I cannot stop staring at my Christmas nails. They are so beautiful. I did have a little bit of mishap with the star on my dominant hand. It, it kind of slid over to one side and then I had cured it. So too late, it's stuck where it is, but oh well, I don't care. If you don't care, I don't care. It's all good. They still look cute. So thanks everybody again so much for all your support and sticking with me and I will see you in my next video. Again, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.